It is normal for us humans, or even to animals, to run or fight whenever we face something wrong or danger coming to us. And that is what they called adrenaline rush. Where there is only two options that you can do, it's either fight or flight. Adrenaline rush gives you an extraordinary capability to fight stronger or to run faster. And in this video, we will do Warthog. Warthog is a small wild animal, usually dig holes that is called burrow, and they use this hole to hide from potential predators. Warthog looks ferocious, but they are not. They rather run and save themselves to avoid confrontation with predators. But when they have to protect their babies, there is no other choice but to fight. They will fight not to protect themselves, but to protect their babies and families. They can run fast towards the predators and use its jaw together with its long sharp horns to inflict damage to predators. They will continue doing it, hoping that the predator would leave them alone. They usually don't stand a chance, but this is their only choice to save the lives of their loved ones. Number 2. Zebra Zebra are one of the most favorite target to eat by predators, not because they are easy target. It is very hard for the predators to hunt a fully grown healthy zebra. This kind of zebra is very dangerous to target by predators because zebra has the capability to defend itself. They are capable of biting and one of their best defense mechanism is their kick. They have a lot more stronger kick than a horse and they are capable to kill a lion with just a single powerful kick. Predator usually hunt a baby zebra or those weaker or injured zebra. But still, it is not that easy for predators. Zebra lives as a group to protect each other from potential predators. Additionally, the black and white stripes of the zebra as a group makes it harder for the predator to single out any individual zebra. Number 3. Giraffe Giraffe is the tallest living mammals in the world. Due to their size and length, an adult giraffe has no predators to fear from. And it is very dangerous for the predators if they try. Any other single predator does not stand a chance to bring down a fully grown giraffe. But still, some predators are able to bring down a fully grown giraffe, like a group of lions who can outnumber a giraffe. Like any other baby animals, baby giraffe are also very vulnerable to predators. Once they got lost and separated with their mother or family, all predators will take this as an opportunity to take down this little helpless baby giraffe. Sometimes, even if they stick together with their mother, predators still find ways to snatch the baby giraffe from its mother. Number 4. Buffalo Buffalo is one of the most favorite target to eat by predators. The primary predators of buffaloes are lions. Because they are a lot more vulnerable and can only run at a very slow speed of up to 57 kilometers per hour only. In compared to their predators who can run at a speed of 60, 70, 80 or even 90 kilometers per hour. But it doesn't mean that they can take down easily the buffalo. Yes, buffalo is a prey, but they can still defend themselves from predators. They have a very strong, powerful, and muscular body together with their long and sharp horns, which they can use to charge and throw its predators up to the air. Their sharp horns can even stab the body of their predators and inflict a very serious damage to it. Buffaloes are also a social animals, and they usually live at a group of big pride that consists of hundreds of members. And whenever one member of them are caught by predators or lions, they can easily fight back and defend by charging as a group altogether, dangerous enough for the lions and usually ended up lions to give up. Number 5. Gazelle Gazelle is a land animal who are also favorite prey by predators. They can run fast in order for them to escape those predators. But there are some predators who can also run fast and may ended up the gazelle to fight back. 
when escaping does not work, they have no choice but to fight back. Gazelle has a long sharp horn which they can use as their defense mechanism. They use their horn to stop the predators, and one wrong move of predator may end up them getting severely injured or may end its life. Gazelle is a social animal. They live as a group and they use each other as a lookout for predators and to inform everyone of potential danger to give everyone enough time to escape. Number 6. Elephant Of course, a fully grown elephant usually does not have any predators or maybe there are some. There are some animals like lions who has no other choice but to hunt an elephant. The bigger the elephant, the more dangerous and harder for the predators to defeat it. Usually, the baby elephant are the ones who are more vulnerable preys for the predators. Those baby elephants who are lost and got separated with its family are the main target to eat by predators. They should never ever stay away from their family because all predators around are just waiting for the right time and timing to catch and eat these helpless little baby elephants. Number 7. Porcupine Porcupine are just a small animals. They are herbivores and does not eat meats. Some predators think of it as an easy target, but they are all wrong. They are messing with the wrong prey because porcupine has this sharp thing on their back that is called quill and they use this as their defense mechanism to poke those predators and leave its quill inside the skin of the predators. This sharp quill has these tiny little microscopic spikes making it harder and very painful for the predators to take it off their skin. Most of these predators who mess around a porcupine will get a 50-50 chance to live and if ever they survive, it will serve as their lesson and will probably leave this animal alone. Number 8. Wild Beasts Wild bees are very vulnerable to big predators like lions or leopards. That is why they live as a group. Usually, the calf or the weaker ones are more vulnerable to predators. They also stay closer to zebras which provide them additional protection and the same thing with the zebra. As a group, wild bees will group together and approach, behaving aggressively and staring. This group behavior gives the entire herd a better chance of survival. This animal may be vulnerable to predators but it will be hard enough for the predators to take down a wild beast. They have a sharp pointed horns which they use as their defense mechanism against their opponents or predators. Number 9. Rhinoceros A fully grown adult rhinoceros does not have any predators in the wild because they are equipped with strong body and thick skin which makes it harder for the predator to penetrate. Plus, they have a very strong sharp horns that they can use to charge and inflict serious damage to their predators. While an adult rhino has no predators, well, a baby rhino are still vulnerable to a lot of predators around. Like any other animals, baby rhino does not have enough strength and power to defend themselves from bigger predators. Once they got lost or separated with their parents or family, Predators will use this as an advantage to put down and eat these helpless baby rhinoceros. They need to stay with their mother who can protect them from any danger. Number 10. Hippopotamus Hippopotamus are vegetarian animals, but for some reason, this animal is equipped with powerful defense mechanism that they don't need for hunting. They only use it to protect themselves or their members. When hippo is approached by predators, they open their mouth wide to display their teeth as warning against predators. They may look like intimidating, but these animals are vicious, capable of biting a crocodile into half with its strong jaws, or tear apart the body of an attacking lion. Hippo also live as a group, 
which consists of 10 up to 30 members and each of every members helps each other of protecting everyone, making them not an easy target by predators.